with the DNA of the father. Can you guess where I am getting at? If it's possible, then we get our mitochondrial DNA from our mothers. So you and I have the same mitochondrial DNA that our mothers have. And because of this beautiful link, scientists have been able to trace our ancestral relationships far, far back in time to a single mitochondrial, even Africa, who lived over 200,000 years ago. How wow is that, right? So now it's widely accepted that we humans have evolved from a small population in Africa some uh, 200,000 years ago and we slowly spread across the world. Modern humans began to migrate out of Africa around 100,000 years ago. This map shows the migration paths that modern humans took. And as humans moved to Europe and Asia, they would have met these earlier humanoids or human-like creatures whom we spoke about earlier, like, you know, the Neanderthals in Europe. They largely outcompeted and replaced these older species. The humans, the powerful force that we are today, have our humble roots set in Africa. And then we have crossed oceans, rivers, seas, crossed raging mountains, braved severe weathers and thunderstorms, have turned to nature and to each other for help, support, advice and comfort and made our way across the world. Some of us settled along the way. The persistent ones continued to move and travel, not because they were traveling for a holiday, of course, but because we were on a lookout for the best kind of life we could provide for ourselves and for future generations to come.